Hi, I'm Jim Brickle, Medler and Ford Lincoln, and this is the 2025 Lincoln Corsair Premier Edition. Let me show you some of the great features in it. At the back end of this vehicle, it does come with the power lift gate. Hit it twice on the fob and open it up. And you've got a choice of hitting the button over here or using the fob again to close it up. And if you have to be silly enough to be in the way, a lot of great equipment on the inside of this vehicle. Starting on the driver's door, you have a power adjustable driver's seat, and you do have three memory positions. So once you've adjusted the chair where you want it to be, you can also adjust your outside mirrors. Using the lower two buttons, the ones closest to you, to select which mirror, use the arrows to adjust the mirrors, and then once you've got them locked in, do both sides, that's when you're going to want to hit button number one to lock in. When it beeps, that means you've locked your seating position and your outside mirrors. Then uh, your subsequent drivers can be positions two and three. Now, also on the driver door, we have the button here to fold in the mirrors. Fold them back out again. And this one in the upper right corner that's the child lock for the back windows. So uh, it locks the back doors so little ones aren't falling out and it locks the back windows so they're not playing with them uh, when you don't want them to. When the light is out, that gives control back to the people in the rear seats. You've got your power locks, you've got your uh, power windows, and of course it is expressed down. and express back up. Continuing over, you can open the lift gate from here. You've got your panel dim and your panel bright and your headlamps. I've got it in the A position for automatic. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have this lever. Pull it down and that gives you adjustments in your steering wheel. So you can move it in and out, up and down as you need it, and then pull it back up to lock it in position. Now on the steering wheel, in the upper right corner, or sorry, left, you have your voice control. You can set the temperature, you can set a radio station, you can get, get an address uh, for destination and, and navigation. So that's right here. Nice convenient spot where you're often holding on to the steering wheel. This vehicle on your turn signal, of course has the turn signal, but when you push it in from the end, you're turning your lane keeping system off, turning it on. And as you can see when it's on, you've got a display of the car there. And when you turn it off, that car disappears. On the left hand side, you've got a toggle switch here, and this is for the volume on your stereo. So you can go up or down, and you can seek to your next presets. This one is your cruise control. When you turn that on, the buttons below light up. So you've got resume, set plus, set minus, and on the right hand side, you've got cancel, and for your adaptive cruise control, uh, closer and farther away from the vehicle in front of you. The switches for these are actually in behind. So you would first turn on cruise control, then use them from behind, and when you shut off cruise control, those lights go out. Of course, your horn is in the center, and then on the right hand side, we have this button here which will change your display. So there's your fuel economy, there's your tire pressure, a comm screen, trip one, fuel economy, tire pressure. Now, how do you choose which ones are going to be showing there? So you use your toggle. This time you're going to go down. Now it says display setup, the word OK. So when you go to the right, it goes to OK. So now we have information screens speedometer in miles per hour, or you can add a tachometer to your view. So right now I'm going to do the display setup by going OK. 
So now, this is where we could choose those screens when we are toggling up and down. So the comm screen is basic information. Trip 1, Trip 2, Fuel Economy, Auto Stop Start, Tire Pressure. Don't want it, so I'll turn that one off. Who's wearing their seat belts? I'm going to check on that one. Uh, power distribution, that's always a fun one. And so now we're going to go back. I'm not going to the States right now, so I won't be putting it in the speedometer in miles per hour, but I do like a tachometer, so I'm going to add that one. So now, when I hit the home screen, we've got our uh, 66 kilometers to empty, we've got zero kilometers an hour, and I hit it once, here's our trip one, our tachometer has been added, and our speedometer has moved over to the right. So the display is quite easy to read and very visible. You can see in the bottom right corner it's 66 kilometers to empty, so it does give you some warnings as you're getting low and will be time to uh, fill up. Now, we come to our center screen here. Plenty of information. And we'll start by hitting the Lincoln logo. So now this is our home screen. We've got a map showing where we currently are. The audio is off. Adding a phone, tap right there. Use your Bluetooth device. Uh, very easy to pair, just follow the instructions on the screen. It's quite easy. Now, we've got settings. When it comes to settings, most of these you're only going to have to do once. So you initially get the vehicle set up the way you want it and the information displayed that you will want to access. Of course, we've already talked about adding a phone, and this is where you could add a subsequent phone. The vehicle can be paired to up to 10 devices, so that's plenty for a vehicle that only has five seats. Now, under clock, this is where you choose if you want the military 24-hour clock or the regular 12-hour clock. I'm not in the military, so I'm sticking with the 12-hour clock. And the other really nice thing is automatic time update. So when the clocks move ahead, the clocks move back, you don't have to worry about it. Your car is going to do it for you. Next one says sync navigation. So in this one, first you're going to set up the map how you want it to be. 3D heading up. That's my choice, but some people do like having north at the top of their map. What do you want shown on the map? Well, would you like some gas stations, food, parking, ATMs? You get the idea. You simply check off what you want shown on the map. Now, when you've got a destination set, how do you want the car to tell you how to get there? Would you like just a tone? So it'll go beep in 500 kilometers, or just be a beep. You'd look at the screen and see that you're supposed to be turning right. Voice would say, in 500 meters, turn right. Voice and tone would be the beep that you just heard, followed by the voice telling you to turn right, turn left, whatever the case may be. A weather app. Current weather. Well, I think we can look outside and see the sun is shining, skies are blue. But when you've got a destination set, you can see the weather at your destination. So although it's sunny here, maybe it's raining where you're going to be traveling to. And then, of course, you can also look at the uh, radar map. Now, traffic on the map. Do you want it shown or do you not want it shown? I like knowing about possible traffic jams. More settings. So, routing and map preferences. Um, I'm going to be driving alone, so I'm not going to have the carpool lanes uh, searched out. I've got the 3D map. Dynamic rerouting. So, ask me to confirm when a faster route is available. 
nah, just automatically uh, give me a faster route. Want to get there as soon as possible. Fastest, our preferred route is the fastest. I like that choice. But for some people, they want to be eco-friendly. If that's your style of driving, then choose that to be eco-friendly. Uh, breadcrumbs, I find personally to be a little bit annoying. It leaves a little dot everywhere you've been. After a while, you've gone all over the city and you don't know uh, what's what because there's so many dots on it. So I'm going to turn that one off. Go back to the previous screen. And so now our routing preferences are set. Alert preferences. So I want to know when I'm in a school zone. That sounds good. A railroad alert. Yeah, that sounds good. I know where the borders are, but what the heck, we'll leave it on there. Privacy, about, enable navigation, advanced na navigation features. So we're going to, this feature requires activation. When it is safe to do so, please log into the account in the Lincoln Way mobile app to learn more. Terms and conditions may apply. So we won't do that just yet. Now. Sometimes you're going somewhere and there's things that you're trying to avoid. In this case, your choices of things to avoid include highways, toll roads, tunnels, country borders, ferries. Just a side note, if you uh, want to play a trick on a friend, turn on their avoid highways before they go on a trip. See how long it takes them to realize going from St. Catharines to Toronto is not supposed to be a seven hour drive. So those were things you can avoid on the route. Now, that was under sync navigation, personal profiles. Uh, if there's more than one driver, you can set up uh, personal profiles. Each person can have their own temperature settings, their own radio presets, etc., etc. So totally personalize the driving experience. If uh, you're going to be the one and only person in it, you don't necessarily have to do that part. Under general, this is more stuff that you'll look at pretty much once and only once. Language. English, Spanish, and French. Temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit, measurements, kilometers, liters per hundred kilometers, uh, tire pressure, unit pounds per square inch, and yes, I like it beeping every time I hit the screen. Then you've got about sync, software licenses, send feedback, and reset. Now, reset is something you're not going to do very often, but when you sell your vehicle, if you trade in the vehicle, if you break up with your partner and they've got uh, the vehicle on their Lincoln Way app, you want to get the keys back, you want to reset it and wipe them off uh, any contact with the vehicle. So if you trade in here, we go and do a reset and uh, the next owner will not know about you in that way. So that was your vehicle. Now, when it comes to display, we've got a calm screen, so you're just going to get the time, the date. You're not getting distracted by everything on the screen. The brightness level you can change, and there is a day and a night mode. I've got it set to switch automatically between them. Now, we scroll across to the next one. This time, we've got driver's seat, passenger seat. Those you can also do with the button next to your presets. So right here or right here. Oops. That's your lumbar adjustment. Do you want it sticking out? Do you want it pulled back in? Plus minus, and away you go. Same for the passenger side. Now this is pretty cool. When it comes to updates, similar to your smartphone, the car can do updates automatically as well. So we've got it set to do automatic updates, but we have to tell it when to look for them. So you're going to set a recurring schedule. Now, for me, Monday through Thursday at 1 o'clock in the morning is a good time for updates. I'm in bed at that time, so go ahead, update. 
I don't need to be around for it. And in order to do that, you're going to want to have the vehicle connected to your home Wi-Fi. So under connectivity, hit Wi-Fi, find your home Wi-Fi, put in the password, and the car will take care of the rest. Earlier I was mentioning about the voice control and how there's a button on the steering wheel. Well, some people don't even want to hit the button on the steering wheel. They just want to start talking. So you can listen for a wake word. Choose your preferred wake word. Okay, Lincoln, set temperature 18 degrees. Setting temperature to 18 degrees. So you can use any of those three, whichever one works best for you. There's an advanced mode, phone confirmation, voice command list. If you're not sure what any of these things are, you can look at the I, which is for more information. So phone confirmation prompts you to confirm the contact before placing a call. So if you say call Charlie Smith and the the phone, the car will read re back to you what it thinks it, you said. If it says the same thing, then go ahead and place the call. If it says something else, then make a correction. So, often a good one to use. You can set the vehicle up as a vehicle hotspot. 911 assist is with your smartphone, and then we have a valet mode. If you use valet parking, you can put in your own four-digit code that will temporarily disable your phone features, your navigation features, buddy in the red jacket won't be able to get anything other than your car to the parking spot and then back uh, when you come for it. Across the bottom you have your climate controls. The ones that look like a chair, that's where your heated seat comes in. So you can turn it on, you've got three levels of heat Next one is the driver temperature, plus or minus, so as just demonstrated, you can voice it or you can tap the screen. Your fan speed, if you want to set it automatic, and where you like the air flowing. I like it through the panel vents, so I'll put it there. Uh, you've got max AC, you've got uh, dual zone, you've got uh, max defrost. Air conditioning is here, and your passenger temperature, and your passenger um, heated seat. So that was all through the settings. Then we have features. Under features, your owner's manual is built right here into the dash. You uh, tap on it loads sometimes faster than others You've got categories visual search bookmarks videos and what are you looking for so it's quite easy to use the other one is your driver assistance auto hold you can hold the brakes uh, until you touch the accelerator pedal even if you take your foot off Cruise control, adaptive or regular. Adaptive is where you set both the speed and the distance to stay behind the vehicle in front of you. A speed limit assist, lane keeping. I've got it set for both alert and aid. Uh, Pre-collision, warning, braking, steering. Rear view camera delay is off. Blind spot information is on. Cross traffic alert is on. Cross traffic braking is on. And here's one driver alert. So, vehicle notifies you if the vehicle detects that you are inattentive. Well, some people don't care that they're inattentive. They don't want the car telling them so. So, shut it off. If you don't want the car telling you that, you don't have to. Now we're back at our home screen. So, when you tap on the map, that brings it up big and basically um, can fill the whole screen when you tap this one. 
Now, you'll notice some of these things are in light gray, they're not active, until you activate the Lincoln Way app. So you must download the Lincoln Way app, create an account, add in your VIN, and then activate the vehicle. Once you have, then you've got full use of the navigation features. Right now it's just showing where we're physically located, but nothing more. And under audio, when you tap on that, so uh, you do have AM, FM, you do have Sirius Satellite Radio, free for three months, and you can play music off of your phone. Coming down below, you've got your start button, your park, reverse, neutral, and drive, your stereo uh, volume on and off, the P with two lines is parking. In this case, uh, you can turn on and off your rear park sensors. In other trim levels, uh, you can find parking, and in top trim level, you can have the car park itself. Next one is your camera. So this vehicle has the rear view camera and has the guidelines so you can see got space before the bush and quite a few feet behind before you get to the other vehicle. Turn that off. We've got our four-way flashers. The A with the little line and arrow around it. That's the override for the auto stop start feature. The override for your traction control and turning on the max defrost. Between the seats, the section opens up. So you've got a nice storage bin, you've got a connection so you can charge your uh, phone, push it in and it slides back, reveals our two drink holders, drive modes, your parking brake, and with regards to drive modes, turn it here and you're looking up here. So there's slippery, slick, icy, dial it, uh, the other direction you've got normal, and excite, responsive and engaging, and conserve efficient driving. So whatever is your style of driving, put it to the appropriate drive mode. So this has been an overview of your 2025 Lincoln Corsair Premier Edition. I hope you enjoy your vehicle. I'm Jim Brickle from Ed Learn Lincoln.